Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. This is Jimmy Johnson's 2010 Bristol Win Elite. I have done the ARC in the past, so if you think you're seeing double, you're kinda are, but this is the Elite, so we're gonna take a look at it today and look at the details on it. So, we're gonna start with the box. It is a 2010 Elite. What does that mean? It means it comes in the standard uh, sleeve and box style Elite. You can see it says RCC Elite. There's our sleeve. Kinda ran that sleeve for a number of years. And then uh, on the side, you see Jimmy Johnson, 2010 Bristol win, Elite, um, one of 150. Now, what does the Elite come with? It comes with three things. Um, the only thing unique to the Elite is this card here, DIN 77 of 150, and just a certificate of authenticity for the serial number. Uh, 2010 also came with these Victory Lane pins. So you can see it says Victory Lane. Uh, there we go, Victory Lane, Bristol, 3-21-2010. And then we also have, of course, the big old winner card. Big winner card as well, too. Started fourth. Uh, he led 84 laps, one by eight tenths of a second for his 50th career win. So that's our uh, winner card there. But let's go ahead and get on to the best part. That would be the die cast. And it's a Bristol win, which means it's good. So down on the left side, you can see right off the bat, we've got dirt on the splitter. We've got dirt on the bumper and around the left front wheel. We've got a big old donut mark right across the floor. It's it's fantastic. The race damage on any of these Bristol cars is usually very, very good. Uh, you can see on the left front wheel, uh, the different. there's the Hendrix sticker where it's got the different numbers in there. 48, Lowe's. Uh, you got Jimmy Johnson up there on the name rail. You can see we got uh, Cobalt tools here on the back. Uh, a little bit of rubber stuff around the left rear, but the main detail on this left side is that donut right there, right on the number four. Uh, you get to the very back of the car, you see we've got Lowe's with the gray and the blue, kind of accenting each other pretty good, and we also have the rear camera. Uh, we can pop the trunk open here, and you can see we do have braces, tethers, fuel cell uh, is all in there as well. We have Lowe's on the rear deck lid. You can see it's the metallic white with the blue numbers, or numbers, blue letters. DIN number is 77, and then you get up to the roof. And uh, up here on the roof, you can see we've got that metallic blue with that nice yellow 48. Three Lowe's stickers are on the roof camera there. Uh, let's see, let's go over to the right side here. Um, you can see on the right side, right rear corner panel, all the little rubber, or not rubber, but the donut marks. Uh, that's just a sign that, uh, Bristol, you've been making lots of passes, and... Guys have been trying to chop you. Uh, but you can see we got Lowe's. Number 48 again. Nice, big, tall door number. A little bit of dirt kind of around here as you get to the front. Another couple wheel marks, but a little bit of dirt is also on that side. Uh, you can see the tiny little flakes of confetti kind of floating around in here. Uh, you get to the nose of the car. You can see confetti down there on the splitter. Uh, a little couple pieces of tape up there. Uh, you can see the brake ducts. Uh, those are individual for the short tracks. So you have to see those. So you, so you can see the vents. Bleh, I just mumbled all that together. But yes, you can see the uh, brake duct vents there uh, for the short tracks. Uh, then you see we got the Impala front end. Uh, a little bit of dirt on there, but otherwise just a very, very nice blue uh, color in there. Uh, a couple, let's see, we got Chevy. Uh, what do we got saying over there? Chevy. Can't read what it says, but we got a couple of Chevy emblems. And then uh, got the, nothing on the other side. Actually, that side's clean, so... Uh, but overall, it is a uh, pretty pretty sharp paint scheme. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like it. So uh, you get up to the hood, you see we got the metallic blue again, and then it got the red outline going over to the white, and then just a little bit of confetti. Nothing too crazy, nothing super hard or like heavy, but still a decent amount of confetti nonetheless. Um, this was the spring race. Obviously, it said uh, the 21st, but the other reason you know is because the other 2010 Bristol race would be won by Kyle Busch. Which series? All of them. He won, that was his uh, first of the two sweep sets uh, that he has done. And I someday want to get the 2010 sweep set. But uh, Under the hood, you can see there's our engine detail, braces, tethers, and then the uh, the different engine detail in there. The engine detail isn't crazy. You can see, kind of see it from there. It, it is actually a little bit disappointing compared to the Gen 4s, but it is still better than the Gen 6s. Now, under the car, you can see we got our bumper bar, DIN number 77 on the plate there. The rear suspension is a functioning one. You can see it kind of moving and bouncing right there. Um, you can see we've got transmission lines up here. Uh, those are individual little lines. I can kind of poke at them. But, um, yeah, overall, we, we do have really good detail on this car. Uh, the biggest draw for me on this car is obviously the got to be the left side. Obviously, I'm a big fan of the Bristol wins. They've always been kind of one of my... One of my um, my weak points, got to have those Bristol wins. They just look so awesome. So I uh, had the ARC, decided to move it to an Elite, and so that's what we have here today. But 
Uh, anyway, that'll pretty much wrap up this video. There's really not much else to see on this one. We got a couple other ones that'll be fun to take a look at here uh, in the next week or so. But um, let me know your thoughts on this uh, diecast in the comments below. Turn on the notification bell and subscribe if you're new for daily diecast content. Um, if you haven't already, make sure that bell's on because I got plenty of diecast reviews coming up. Uh, so you definitely won't want to miss them. Should be a, a very busy weekend coming up here with uh, Kansas, and I've got plenty of pre-records ready to go for you. So. Uh, other than that, this has been Race Craze. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.